Okay, lads, I've already spoke to you both. Keep them punches up. Don't put the heads in. Touch gloves. Good lads. Well, a popular fighter, as you can hear, Shiraz. Ilford boy, just 19 years old. Stands tall for the weight, undefeated in his four fights. Lenny Butcher in his corner and signed a pro contract on his 18th birthday. A swing fight, this one, filling before our main event with Anthony Yard coming up immediately after the conclusion of this. But Cavicius fighting out of Hull, Lithuanian by birth. And uh, he is one of the sports journeymen. Chilaz is an amateur, won 70 out of 80 contests. He first went to a boxing gym when he was just seven years old. He's, uh, the light middleweight division worldwide has got some of the biggest freaks for the weight I've ever seen in the sport. Well, Shiraz is a big lad, isn't he? Look at the size of him, he's about seven foot two. There's anything like it. And then we've got Jared Hurd, who's, who's like, who's, looks like a, a cruiserweight. Munguia, another oh, guy, Munguia another is, guy looks like a light heavyweight. He's a beast, isn't he? Mexican WBO champion at this weight. One of the Charlo brothers is still like me, he's massive, it's just, it's just a, a division full of, full of giants. Well, Shiraz still very much at the learning stage of his career. Plenty of support here in Brentwood. For a 19-year-old, and I don't want to call him a boy, but a 19-year-old boy, I'll do it. Keeps his composure. Lad. Lad. Well then, John. A little, little northern term. He keeps his composure very well. Elbows tucked in nice and tight. Now, we, remember, when you're 19, the eagerness to, to, to please everyone, to be, try and be excited, you, you tend to rush your work. But he's, he's getting nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Work behind the jab. Well, he sold a good few tickets, as you can tell from the crowd noise. And yeah, he's seated behind our commentary position here. But how many times have we seen young prospects who sell lots of tickets and in against the journeyman they know they can beat and try too hard and then they're being in scrappy little wars, even though they win, they shouldn't be. Okay, keep with a nice, a mature head, working behind the jab, working to your strengths is very important for your development as you go on to be a, bo to be a better boxer, hopefully. But Kivisius has been stopped on three occasions. Managed by Carl Greaves, who does such a tremendous job in small hall boxing, working out of Newark, and Shiraz taking the opening round. Lenny Butcher in the corner. Final preparations for Anthony Yard. Working out in the dressing room with Tundi Ajayi. And there's his Argentinian opponent, Walter Sakeri. Tough guy. Will need to be against Yard. And there's the Shiraz fan club. Think they know the cameras on them. <laughs> Second down, round two. We move into the second round of this four round. That's real support for you, John. Just like my old support. Don't they have a clue what's going on? They're just cheering anyway. <laughs> it's all part of a good night yeah, out. Great. It's brilliant. Bit of random cheering. <laughs> They're not even facing the right way. Hurrah!
No, he's established the, you know, the distance with that jab and he has quite well. This is where he's that. There you go. Good shot. He just that letting that backhand, that right hand go. Oh, that's and a good left hand as well. That was good, that good little block and counter. And he took he took the right hand on the on the on the shoulder and fire back with a nice sharp left hook. Learning fight for him. And how he'd love to be able to get this Lithuanian out of here. Good jab there, he's stepping behind it as well, trying to get a little bit more, more power. He just turned the front foot a little bit when he, when he steps in with that jab. Just get a little more purchase on the punch. But when you're tall like him, you're, you're such a big tag and a hit. So you need a real ramrod left jab. Oh, nice shot, beautiful work. Lovely right uppercut, beauty. This is 25 years old. Older man by some six years. But Shiraz looking a class better. Yeah, well, Bukovicius just can't get past that long lever, can he? That's, you know, he's, he's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to like, keep the upper body moving, little fidgety movements. But Shiraz nice and focused. And only throwing when he knows he's going to land. Economical but effective. Nice body shot. Again, the mature head for a 19-year-old. When he's in close air and he's taking the other guy's throwing back, he's not looking to fire straight away and rallying, just taking his time, composing himself, taking him on the elbows. And choosing the right time just to let a punch throw back. Shiraz winning the opening round comfortably and clearly the superior man here doubling up nicely on the jab. And the nose of Bukovicius reddening. Nice right hand there. They're enjoying themselves, and so is Hamza Shiraz so far. Hamza, that's a nice little short left hand. It is, but just before, he just, he just blocks and counters. No panic and, the, and the, any a little bit of pressure. But it's not about the win tonight, because the win's pretty much guaranteed, let's be honest. It's about how he performs at this age, the stage of the age he's at. And I think it's been a nice, cool display by him. Second round. So far. Third round of this four-round swing fight. Shiraz comfortably taking the opening two rounds. It's a lovely jab, that is. Doubling it up as well. That's beautiful. Good work. Can we have another that front foot too close to his opponent? Does he need to, does he need to nick the space yet? Let the guy walk onto the left hand. It's good. Only when you feel the guy starting to tire or, or wane a little bit with his ambition, then you start just stealing his space. When you've got that advantages of that reach and that height, you let him walk onto everything. more advantageous is it to a young fella like this finding his way to actually get in here against one of these journeymen as opposed to just putting the rounds in the gym it's, it's the whole atmosphere the, the win the, again unless you make a real bad mistake the win's almost guaranteed so you know you don't take loads of credit for that but the atmosphere the whole routine of getting ready for the big fight the nerves of it you don't care it's not the nerves about getting beat so much it's the nerves about embarrassing yourself you're, you've, you've 
you've, you've been nagging people to come and watch you perform, and then you have to perform. And the last thing you want to do is get beaten for all your friends and, and your fans or whatever you want to call them. So, and also being on TV as well, that added pressure, it all helps build a build that right mental state of mind. So when you do get to the top, it's all nothing. It's all off water off a duck's back. You're used to it. Nice nose wasn't a thing of beauty when the fight began, but it seems to have uh, yeah. deteriorated somewhat. It's made up the clay, isn't it? It has been distinctly flattened by that jab of Hamza Shiraz. It's because Shiraz steps behind it. And I tell you what, there's more weight to come from that jab as well. Just takes a little, little, little bit of a stab at the front foot as he throws it. You've got to keep remembering his age. And, and, and I think it's a lovely... For, for a 19-year-old lad, thanks, John, I think it's a really... Really cool and calm display. Saw a 20 year old Zach Chelly do rather well earlier on. And he securing really... victory against Umar Sadiq. And he did, but look how hectic he was in his work. He was just everything, he was just trying every time with every punch. And, and again, it was effective and it worked, and you know, it was good performance by him. But this young kid here, nice and calm and cool, in a different fight, obviously, but still a good display. Boxing nicely and picking up another round on his way to another win. Looking to make it five out of five tonight. Again, staying calm under a, under a little bit of pressure and then finding the, the vision to throw with accuracy. Good little shot there. He's taken a fair few as Book Cavicius. Oh dear, that's not good. That's what boxing can do to you. Not to me. Are we feeling? Are we feeling? Okay. Well, your nose is perfect, Barry. Yeah, nice. It's a lot to be said for being a collar, John. Corners, ten seconds. Seconds out. Fourth and final round. So, last round. Shiraz moving confidently towards his fifth professional win. Oh, I love it. It's nice. Just a different tempo. Oh, good shot. almost went with that there was a little push just before it to be fair just a little shove with the forearm just before he landed the shot Shiraz absolutely unmarked and book of this is a rather different story <laughs> yeah he better the Book of Vicious, he's made a bit of an effort in this one, doesn't he? Landed a good right hand to start the round off. He's not been able to get through those long, past those long levers here of Shiraz. I'm getting pretty comprehensively beaten once again. Heading towards his 13th consecutive defeat. Yeah, but it looks that way. He's done well, Shiraz. You know, I mean, sometimes he stepped behind the jab, lovely like there. It's a really good, it's a solid shot. That is. I still think he can get more power by just turning that front foot when he steps a little bit more, and maybe start. He doubled up now and again. He double up more on that, on that left hand. Kavisia still trying to wing in the occasional big right hand, but he's going walk about now. Vicious here trying to trying to go with the hooks, but not enough weight on the shots to worry Shiraz. I 
nice quick hands again. And he hasn't loaded up, he hasn't tensed up, he's played nice and relaxed and he has, hasn't been the fastest pace, but he's dictated the pace by taking the centre of the ring. And he's controlling it with the left hand. Yeah, that's good, that's a double jab there. Boxing his way to a very comfortable win. Not under any sort of pressure at any stage. Congratulated by his opponent. And Hamza's fans will go home happy because he has surely won four rounds out of four and won them pretty clearly. Yeah, and like we said, that was never going to be an issue. Let's be honest, he was always going to win the fight and he was always going to win probably every round. But I think it's how, how he went about the win. And he never set the world alight. But also, he, I think he showed a, a nice, mature and composed display for such a young man. And I think, that, I think that's something that you can do, certainly work on. Well, he it, very nearly went there, didn't he? I still think but there was a didn't. little shove before it. But I, this, I think you've got loads to work on with this kid. I think he's, I think he's, he's a talent. You've got to be nurtured correctly, but I think he'll do well. Right, let's get the results. Here we go. Here's Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, our referee in charge, Chas Coakley, scores this contest 42-36 for your winner and still undefeated, Hamza Shiraz! The young man hopefully enjoyed his moment in the limelight, but we move swiftly on here at Brentwood to 